Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Are you ready? I'm ready. Ready. <laughs> okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. How are you? Very fine. Thank you. And you, teacher? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. Just waiting for the rest. Everything fine? Everything good, sir. Okay. I like to hear that. Okay. I guess only six. We need to wait a little bit for the rest.
Okay, Harrison, Manuel, Manuel Narciso, Giovanni, Marlene, Karina, welcome. Christina, Stephanie, welcome to. It is a pleasure to see you again. We are waiting for your classmate. Okay, let me see if we have one more, no more, only eight. Only eight. What happened with the computer, Angel? It's working now. It is working. Yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Christina, how is the weather in your area? It is cool. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. What about you, Anna? Anna Cristina? Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? Fine. Okay. No se escucha, teacher. Well, I got uh, 10. I need to have uh, the half plus one in order to serve. 
Rafael Ernesto is here. Welcome back, Harrison, Giovanni, Norma Carolina, Julia Gomez, Marlin, Cristina, Angel, Ana Cristina, Karina, Okay, let me check out the attendance now, please. Because I need it. You know exactly. Okay, Ana Cristina, are you there? No. Ah, it's there, it's there. Ana del Carmen. No. Angel? Yes. Present. Christina Stephanie? Present. Yes. Fatima? No. Giovanni? Present teacher. Yes. Person? Present. Yes. Juan Carlos? Present teacher. Yes. Uh, Karen Yesenia. Karen Yesenia is not here now. Okay. Uh, Karina is there. Karina. Present. Okay, thank you. Linda is not here. Linda, are you there, Linda? Maria Julia. Present. Arlene. Present. Okay, Marlon. Uh, Nancy. Nancy. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Welcome. Um, Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. Suleima Veronica. Suleima is not here. Okie dokie. Here we go. <clears throat> Let us start now. This is the video conference number eight. We are going to speak about everyday tasks. So please, we are going to start with something that is very important for you. Have you heard Tom Twister? Yes? Yes. Uh-huh, okay. Who wants to read the first one that I have here? Tell me, please. Karina, you can do it. <laughs> okay. My okay. mommy makes me muffins on Mondays. Okay. My mommy made me muffins on Mondays. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else wants to read it? Rafael, do you want to read it, please? My mommy make me muffins on Mondays. Okay. Remember that we are starting with a uh, with the basic one. Hemos iniciado con más fáciles. 
Así es que aprovecha, aprovecha. En este momento, please. Somebody else want to read it? Hey, teacher. Okay, do it, sir. My mommy, my mommy make me make moving in Monday. Uh -huh. Okay. Let us see the next one that I have here. Hmm. Hold on a second. Okay. What about this one? Who wants to read it? A big black bat bit a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, let us do it. I need that you participate, please do it. Who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Me, hey, teacher. Boss is then at the same time. Please. Norma first. Okay, do it. <laughs> okay, thank you. A, a big black book, big, a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay. Yes, teacher, como traba lenguas. <laughs> Eso es un tongue twister. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, tongue twister. Uh, it helps us to develop the skills in a speaking. A big, a big black bag beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Right here. Okay, somebody else want to read it, please? Me. Okay. A big black dog beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Uh -huh. Okay. Alguien que lo quiera leer más rápido. Voluntarios. Voluntarios. No? Okay, let us see the next one. This is the bath. This is the, the black bath. Is this? This is a big black bath. The one that beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, what about this one? Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought better butter and it was better than the butter Betty bought before. Who wants to do it? Who wants to try? Who wants to try to do it? Volunteers, please. I'm going to read it again in a slowly way. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought better butter and it was better than the butter Betty bought before. I like this, I like this. I tried to jump. Okay, do it, sir. Betty bought a bit of butter but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought bitter butter and it was better than the butter Betty bought before. Okay, right here, right here is better. Okay. Betty bought better butter, better butter. El, el único bitter is this one. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Come on, you can do it. Try to do it. Me teacher. Tranquilo, leanlo en su. No, no se preocupen de leerlo así rápido. Leanlo, pronuncie lo mejor que puedan. Okay, Me teacher. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Very bow a bit of butter, but the bit very bow was bit. So very bow bit butter. And it was very that the very very <laughs> but the very both before. Okay, listen, listen. I'm going to read it again. Okay. In a slowly way. Very bought a bit of butter. Very repeat. Bit of repeat, butter. Re repeat after me. Very bought a bit of butter. Very bought a bit of butter. But the butter very bought. But the butter very bold was bitter. Was bitter. So. So. Very bold, very butter. Very bold, very butter. Very, very, very butter. Very butter. And it was. And it was. Better than the butter. Better than the butter. Very bold before. Very bold before. Okay, so Maria, want to read it first? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Very bow, uh, very old butter. But the butter, very bow, was a bitter. So, very bow, better butter. And it was better than that butter, very bow, before. So, so. Okay, okay, excellent. Excellent. And the last one, please, because we need to start the topic. Somebody else want to say? Okay, tell me. Betty Bow, a bite of butter. But the butter, Betty Bow, was bitter. So Betty Bow, better butter, and I was better than the butter, Betty Bow, before. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read the last time. Very bought a bit of butter, but the butter very bought was bitter. So very bought better butter, and it was better than the butter very bought before. Okay, one day you are going to do it that way. Now that's that I want that you develop your skill and you can read it uh, faster than me. So lo que tratamos que ustedes lo lean más rápido y que el alumno supere al teacher. Okay, thank you. Los demás no quisieron participar. Okay. Okay, let us start now with the, uh, with this question. We have a question here. Two questions. The first one says, what is the estimated time an employee is work a day in your workplace? Repeat. I'm going to repeat again this. What the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace. And the second one said, does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? Does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? Okay, let us talk about this. If you don't have the material, make on a screenshot because I need to see your faces. Okay, who wants to answer the first one? Just tell me. The one that didn't participate in the fair activity, you, you, now you can do it. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Hello. The question one is eight hours. 
Eight hours. Eight hours. 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 And what about the second one? Yeah. The second question. Days. Does everybody have, have a specific schedule to follow? Or sometimes can switch. And you hesitate, you don't know what you are going to do tomorrow after uh, noon. Did you got my message? ¿Se comprendió lo que dije? No? No, teacher. Okay. Repeat, please. Just tell me. Don't worry about it. The question is this. Does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? Or um, you don't know what you have to do tomorrow at morning. Or you already have a specific schedule and you know what you have to do at eight o'clock, at nine o'clock, at 10 o'clock. No? Yeah, in my case, uh, two uh, specific schedule. Your case? Yes. Okay. But maybe some of you were more than eight hours. Rafael, in your case, how many hours do you have to work? 24 hours? In my case, yeah. sometimes nine hours per day. Oh, usually eight hours. Okay. Okay. What about you, Giovanni Alexander? How many hours do you work in a day? Mm. How many hours? Yes. Do you work every uh, day? Uh, without full seven seven hours. But 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 it Always is true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only seven hours. Okay. Linda, what about you? Tell me. What do you think about the first question? The first question. Yes. What? Just let me know what do you think about it, please. Eight hours in my case, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about the second one? The second, second question. One. Well, the specific schedule is just for the, I don't know, in or the enter, like to open the door, the open the store. Okay, at the moment that you start work. Uh huh, it's not a specific schedule think... for for do some task. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. What about you, Suleyma? What can you tell us about it? Uh, the Monday uh, to Wednesday, uh, it's eight hours. Eight hey, hours? The first day, pardon, the viernes, ¿cómo es? Friday? Friday, uh, five. Five. five hours. 
Yes. Okay, and that in your case, you can use uh, some word that we have already studied. We call it time expression, and you can say, in my case, from, from Monday to Saturday, I work from 7 to 3 or 4 p.m. Yeah. Try to use the word that we already started with. Yes. Okay. Okay, what about you, Marlon? Marlon, are you there, Marlon? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Um, on some days, I work uh, seven hours or eight hours. Okay. In your case, you have a, a specific a schedule? A specific activities that you have to do at a specific time or not? No. No. Not necessary. No necessary. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Let, let us see the conversation that we have here. I will share conversation. Thank you for your participation. And we are going to read, this is a short conversation between Ben and Matthew. And Ben say, hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. Are we live that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You are right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie had the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate had the evening shift. Okay, take a look. Try to read it, please. Try to read it. Leanlo, por favor. Okay, I'm going to read again. Hey, Matthew, how's it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody's here today because of the traffic, you know. You are right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie had the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate had the evening shift. We are talking about a specific task. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Just let me know, please. Any question? Any question? Not the chair. Ah. I thought that my microphone was mute because I didn't get any answer. Okay, somebody want to read it, please? Volunteers? Yeah. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm really that everybody's here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right, look. Who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark. And Sophie had the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the 
evening chief. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Okay, right here. Repeat. Everybody. 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 Okay. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Rafael. Hey, Matthew. How is it going? Very good, Ben. I really that everybody be cute today because of the traffic, you know. You are right, Luke. Who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon. Chief and Tom and Kate have the evening chief. Okay, nice. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else want to do it, please? Who wants to learn? Who wants to learn? Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, then. I believe that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who are the early and late chiefs for this coming weekend? According to his school, Mark and Sophie have a morning and afternoon chief and Tom and Kate have an evening chief. Okay, thank you, sir. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Norma. Hey, Matthew, how is, how is going? Very good, Ben. I am relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for the coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Excellent. Okay, let us practice. If you don't have the material, make a screenshot now, please. Me, teacher. Do you want to read? Yeah. Okay, Christina, do it. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, babe. I am relieved that everybody, everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You right, Luke, who has the early and late shift for the coming weekend. According to the schedule, Mass and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kay have every shift. Okay, I need that you repeat this word, schedule. 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 Uh, evening. Evening. Relief. Relief. Yeah, we can use this. Uh, we use this expression. Suddenly, imagine that you forgot to something that you need in your work. Imagine that you need to type a report and your computer is not working and you ask uh, to your boss or a co-worker and, and for, for a laptop and, and he or she say, yes, okay, have it. use mine. And you say, what a relief, que alivio. Okay, here we go, let us practice. Let me see, I got 15. I don't know what is happening, but some students are missing my classes. What's going on? Something is happening here. Let me see. I need to have eight. Now seven is going to be better. One is going to be integrated by three students. Try to help each other, please. Let me see the time that I'm going to give you. This is a short conversation. Three minutes, I consider that is enough in order that you practice. Any question before we go to the breakout room? Any question about the conversation? 
no? Teacher, can you show the the conversation again? I need to take a, a screenshot. Ah, before we can go there, okay. Let me see if yeah. I can. Oh, I got here. I got here. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Make a screenshot now, please. All right. It, thank you. It is. It is done. It is done. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it now, please, and practice. Don't forget to, to do it in a natural way. Like when you are speaking with somebody in Spanish, you have to do it in English too. And don't forget that you are going to articulate in a different way because it's another language. That is, that is going to help you a lot. Right like now, I'm waiting for them because they are practicing the conversation. Okay. Go. Okay. Hey, Julia. Who is it going? To? Very good, Suleyma. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look who has the early and light shift for this coming weekend. According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Linda. 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 
Kita is the I don't see Linda. Wake up, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe uh, she is having problem. Wait for her. Wait for her. There. Sorry, me me salí de la plataforma. No sé qué pasó. Este, perdón, no, no lo escuché. Are you ready, Linda? Yes, yes. Hey, Linda. Okay. Hey, Linda, who, how is it going? Very good, Rafa. I'm relieved that everybody's here today because of, because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for the coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tony and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next, please. Christina. Ready. Okay. Hey, Matthew, who is going? Very good. I really that everywhere, everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for the coming weekend? According to this ratio, Mass and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Thank you. Okay, thank you. How is it going? How is it going? Okay, somebody else want to do, please. Narciso, hello. Ready, Marlene. Okay. Hey, Marlene. Hey, Marlene. How is it going? Very good, Narciso. I am relieved that everybody is here today because of the draft, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for the coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening chip. Okay, Marlene, thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to do it? Me, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, uh, Raquel, ready? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, hey, Raquel, how is it going? Very good, man. I'm really, I'm relieved really that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late chip for these coming weekends? According to the schedule, man, and Sophie has the morning and afternoon chip, and Tom and Kate have the evening chip. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? No? Hello, hello. Okay, right now I invite you to watch the video. I send you the, the link, you have it there in the group, and then we are going to discuss about it. 
try to do it now, please. Por ahí les envié el link para el video. Please take a look. Okay, I guess that you finished watching the video. Please uh, turn your cameras on. Cameras encendidas, por favor. Recuerden que cuando audita en Sapor le gusta ver sus rostros. For the reason is mandatory to have your cameras on. Okay, what can you tell me about the video? It, uh, they are talking about hot schedule. What is hot schedule? Tell me, what is that? Do you watch it? Yes. Yes, teacher, but that they they speak very fast. I <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. But at least you got uh, some some main ideas about what they are saying. Okay, so let me, don't worry. Okay, Linda, at, at least maybe you are not going to understand uh, in 100% uh, everything, but uh, at least you, you have uh, a main idea of what they are saying. 
al menos hacemos como una idea principal de lo que ellos están hablando. At the beginning, the fair men talk about uh, some temple, temple, some template that they use it in order to have the schedule. Everything is uh, digital, electronic, you know, because they said that uh, have the schedule uh, save time and increase efficiency. That is the main purpose. But let us see somebody who wants to say something about it. Somebody got something? Tell me. The lady said that uh, using her the schedule, uh, she doesn't have to rewrite schedule every week because she already have it in the computer or in the cell phone. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting that you tell me something. Somebody want to do it? Karina, are you there, Karina? Tell us something that you got. Uh, I only understand that um, that schedule makes the the life easier. Yes, that's right. Only that. that. Okay, that, that is almost the, the most important idea. How the schedules help us to do everything in an easy way. Okay. And sometimes what you have to do is just to keep connected. And from your home, you can be checking what people are doing if they are in the right place. Because nowadays, in most of the companies, uh, they have cameras that you can monitor from your cell phone. You can check it here. And maybe you, you are not in the company, or, but you are having the control of everything, right? The general manager, they used to do that. Okay, somebody else want to add something? Or well, let us continue, it's up to you. I invite you to watch it as many times as you can in order that you can uh, get the message. And remember that the, it is part of the, the process that you need to have listen and comprehension. And that way you are going to be able to understand uh, different access, different people from different uh, places in the world. That is really, really important that you do it. Okay, somebody else want to say something about it? No? Okay, let us continue then. Okay, I need that you take a look at this. Look at the schedule at the restaurant and answer the following question. The number one is who managed the restaurant? And the second one, who cooks? We have here 10, 11, 12, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., sorry, what's going on, okay. 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 p.m. And also we have cashier from, uh, okay, I need that you tell me that. We have cashier, cook, manager, order takers and waiters. And we have the different uh, 
hours. Okay, who wants to tell me something about cashier? Who wants to tell me something about cashier? Hello. Cajero. Yeah, but, but tell me, uh, what can you tell me about cashier? Uh, what about uh, Kimberly Thompson? She is a cashier. Okay, okay. What else? There, there are four cashiers in different schedules. Uh huh. She's uh, very, very interesting. Okay, what else? Kimberly and Cynthia is uh, the morning shift, mm -hmm. and uh, Pamela and Karen is. Mm, Afternoon shift. Okay. Mm. Excellent. What about the next? Let us talk about cook. Tell me, please. Kevin Dooley. And Karen Dooley for six chicks, six hours, six hours. Okay, tell me the, the schedule for them. They are going to start working at what time? Six chicks. At what time they are going to start working? Six. Chief. Okay, what about from, I, from, from 10 a.m. Uh, uh, 3 p.m. Uh -huh, okay. What else? Mateo Luz and Linda Harris for p.m. and 10 p.m. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, and what about the manager? Who is the manager? Who is the manager? Jennifer Rodriguez is the manager. And what about her schedule? Tell me something about her schedule. What can you tell me about her schedule? It's a long schedule. Me? Tell me, please. She works from 10 a.m. To, to, to 10 p.m. Ah, okay. She works. From 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, excellent. What about the water taker? What can you tell me about it, please? Okay, I'm going to stop now because I need to. I'm sorry to interrupt you. But let me see, I need to check out the attendance again. Are you really sorry? I know that you are very concentrated trying to get an answer. But I need to check out the assistant. Please, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina, Ana Cristina is there, okay. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Welcome. Angel. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Present. Fatima del Carmen. Present. Giovanni. Present. Harrison. 
Present. Juan Carlos. Present. Karen Yesenia. Present. Eh, Karina. Present. Linda. Present. María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Nancy Ever. Nancy Ever. It's not here. Carolina. Norma. Present teacher. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. And Suleima Veronica. Present teacher. Thank you. Only one is missing, okay. Okay, I know that you are uh, concentrated in the schedule. Let us continue watching. Okay, what can you tell me? Just tell me something, please. What about order takers? What can you tell me? Oh. Who are the pairs, uh, the, the people in charge of uh, order takers? Order taker. Yes. In the evening chief, who are the people in charge of it? George Milano and Carlos Guardian. Jorge works uh, from 10 a.m. And what about the waiters? Tell me. In the morning shift. In the morning shift is Walker and Matthew. They they work from ten a.m. to three p.m. The afternoon shift. Uh, there are two persons. They are Haley and Oscar, and they work from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Try to keep in mind this schedule, please. Remember, now, now they, uh, we had the opportunity to have uh, some template in our cell phone or computer. And there we can uh, set our schedule for the company, for the place where you work. And that way you are going to have uh, the, the control of all the people. And, and you are going to be really sure who is in the right place doing his or her duties, right? Okay. In the exercise number four, we are going to read the schedule again and answer that question below. You have five questions. Who wants to read the five one, please?
who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Okay. What is the answer for, 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 for that question? What is the answer? Uh, shout out I don't have the I don't have the schedule. <laughs> ah, you don't have the material. I'm work I'm working only in my cell phone. So ah, okay. somebody else can give you a hand. Alguien más le va a echar la mano para responder. No, don't worry. Okay. Give me an answer, please. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Oh. Walter and Matthew. Walter and Matthew? Yeah. Let me see the special here. Yeah, could be, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, in the morning, Walter and Matthew, okay. The second one, who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Uh, Jennifer Rodriguez, Rodriguez is in charge. Okay. Thank you. Number three, please. Me, teacher. Okay. Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? In the morning shift is Kevin and Karen Dooley. Okay. Maybe they are our siblings, right? They are brother and sister. Okay, number four, who wants to read it? Number four, please. Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Uh -huh. Okay. The answer is, Jorge Milano, Carlos, and Carlos Guardian. Okay, and the last question, number five. Read it, please. Number five. Hello, are you there? What does Matthew do? Uh, Matthew is um, water, waiter. Waiter, waiter. Waiter, waiter. Waiter, waiter. Amor, fíjese que hay una super promo. Okay. Okay. Tres pantalones por veinticinco. Okay. 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 Es que no va a comprar ella. Ay, qué mala se va a mover. Try to mute your microphone, please. Remember that we are recording this class. So please let us know the, the offer where we can buy three, three pounds for 25 bucks. 
three by one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, us. sorry, teacher. <laughs> tell us the play where we can go and buy it, okay? Levi's, Levi's, Madeline. Ah, Levi's, sir. <laughs> Okay, it's good to know. No problem at all. Okay, but well, be careful. good price. Yeah, good price. Okay, then you can share it in the WhatsApp group. All the information about it. Okay. Okay. Let us continue then. Uh, well, also, uh, well, let, let us continue. We have five questions. You already mentioned the answer. And now it's going to be your opportunity to do it. And number four, you are going to write five questions on your own and ask them to a classmate. Okay, before you are going to write five questions and later on as soon as you finish, you are going to have the opportunity to ask to somebody else. So please try to write down your questions. Remember, it has to be something like this. I can say, for example, who is in charge of uh, making reports? or writing check, or so on. Okay, five questions I need that you write down, please. Try to do it now. Vamos a escribir cinco preguntas related with uh, your job. Okay, remember that I'm here waiting. If you have a problem, just let me know. Remember that as soon as you finish, you are going to ask those questions to you, to your classmate.
Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, do you have it? Not yet. I have it. Okay. I can say only the question. Yes, but um, let me see. Maybe we, we need to wait for the rest. Okay. Okay, I consider that you already have at least three or four. Uh, you are going to, into a breakout room and there you are going to ask a question and answer it and try to help each other, please. Here we go.
Okay, now that you have the, the opportunity to interrupt each other and to ask and answer question, the next step that we are going to do is share some question and get some answer. Who wants to do it? One, only one, please. Wants to read. Teacher, me, but before I start to make the question, I would like to know um, how how can I say papelería in English? Papers, but uh, tell me the sentence, please. Who is in charge of purchasing the la papelería en la oficina? Uh, okay, who is in charge of checking all the documents? Mm, no, de comprar papelería en la oficina. Ah, okay. Okay, who is in charge of buying? all the paper stuff in the office. Okay. Paper stuff? Yeah. Okay. Could you please um, spell stuff? S-T-A-F-F. -F. Okay. Okay, I have to work with Anna. Anna, I will make the question. Are you ready to answer? Yes. Anna. Anna. Hello. Hi, I will make the question, Anna. Okay. Okay. Anna. okay. Who is in Who is in charge? of reception in uh, the company. And the Alvarez. Okay. Who is in charge of accounting department in your company? 
Eh, um, Mr. David Beltrán. Okay, who is in charge of buying the paper stuff in your office? Eh, Noemi, Noemi Mejia. Okay. And who is in charge of supervising to your department? Eh, Cesar, Cesar Ramirez. Okay. Thank you for, for the information, teacher. That's all. Sorry. Okay. Finish. Thank you. Ah, okay. Le pregunto yo. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> or if the teacher wants. <laughs> Le hago unas dos preguntas. Oh, can... okay. Who is in charge in, in us as we're in the phone in the world? Her name is Carolina. Okay. Who is in the charge of accounting in the company? Okay, in the accounting, in the accounting department, uh, there are two two persons. Uh, their their name are Misael and Roberto. Okay, only thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, in order to continue and that you have enough time, we are going to work in another activity. And I, and I need that you have enough time in order to do this. Let me show you here. Okay. In practice, you are going to prepare a mini presentation about a schedule activities four or five employees do at your workplace. That means that you are going to create a timetable similar to the one in part three, page 23. I don't know if it, if it is clear, the instructions. That means that you are going to prepare a mini presentation about the schedule activities for four or five employees and do at your workplace. And then you are going to create a timetable similar to the one in the page number three. And part three, excuse me, page 23. I guess that is better if you, well, If you were in, in, in pairs, it's going to be faster, I guess. But in this case, I, I guess that is better if you work, uh, you can do it by yourself alone remember that you need to draw a, a timetable like the one we have in page number 23 usted tendría que hacer uh, como el horario que está en la página 23 relacionado a cuatro a cinco a cinco empleados. Okay, try to do it now, please. Remember that uh, you are uh, thinking in your company.
Any question? Okay. Remember that you are creating your own schedule and you are going to explain with the picture. If you are in your computer, you can do it in Microsoft Word and you just can show me. You can share your screen and then you can explain it.
And I wrote in, a, in the chat another word that you can use, especially for papeleria, stationary is that you can use that word too. And a stationary a story is a place where you can buy different kind of sites and that you can use in your office. Let me see. Okay. You are all, almost done, I guess. Who wants to start chatting? Volunteers, please.
And remember that you can use uh, the chart to help to help you in order to explain the schedule. Okay, let us do it now because uh, I need to have enough time in order that all of you can participate. If you already finished, just let me know and you can share your screen and you can show us. I what. finished teacher. Okay, Harrison, do you have it in, in your notebook or in your computer? In my computer. Okay, do you want to share it with us and explain it please? Sí. Se puede ver, teacher, no. Sí, solo se va a compartir pantalla y ahí lo hace. Share. La cuestión ahorita la función de compartir pantalla. Voy a aceptar, pero no me. Sí, pero sí se puede. Solo, solo déle clic a la, a la flechita donde dice share screen. Compartir pantalla. No, they have teacher. De veras. ¿Qué le aparece? Teacher, quizás porque usted es el anfitrión, tendría que ser Gerson el anfitrión. Sí, no oh, necessary. Oh, okay. But let, let me switch. I'm going to switch the option here. Okay, try to do it now. O le voy a compartir. Trate de hacerlo ahorita. Sí. Yes. No sé si se ve. Yes, 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 we can see it. When I want in one of the area and I use a chart, this okay. is the schedule and we work uh, three shifts is the to the Monday and the uh, to the Wednesday we have three shifts sheet one and from 6 a.m to 12. And three to the twelve to the six p.m. and chip three the six p.m. to the C E a.m. and from the Thursday Thursday we have two chips chips uh, one uh, world uh, all day uh, twelve hours uh, to the six a.m to the 6 p.m. and uh, shift two uh, was the night, 6 p.m. to the 6 a.m. And the same is the Friday and the Saturdays, the chief three pay six hours uh, from 6 a.m. to the 12. This is the, the, the shifts uh, when I work in one of these area and I have to charge a charge. Okay, that is your schedule. Yes, uh, one one area that I have two area. Ah, uh, two, two different areas. Yes, it is the children it is it's two a schedule. Sorry. A schedule. And the schedule and the schedule are different. Uh -huh. uh, depending on the on the machine, it depending on the chip, and uh -huh. the okay. children are different. Sorry. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. You are expert doing that. More or less. <laughs> you are doing well. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else, please. Somebody else, please.
¿Alguien más? Only one, please, only one, only one. Hello. And let me see, don't forget Cristina Stephanie Martinez. Cristina, are you there, Cristina? Hello, teacher. Okay, Cristina. Today is your turn to, to stay at the end of the class. I hope that you have your question in your notebook. I don't know if you are going to be able to stay at the end. Um, don't understand it. Ah, ok. Ah, lo que le decía es que el día de hoy le corresponden sus 10 minutos, el one by one. Uh -huh. Que tenga listas las preguntas, las dudas, para que al final de la clase eh, pueda tener mayor claridad. Okay. Teacher, pero yo ayer, ayer estuve con los 10 minutos. Ah, Jesus Christ, that, that is true, my God. Es cierto, mm -hmm. ¿Quién, quién, ¿quién estaba en su lugar o a quién sustituimos ayer? Let me see, I got it here. No sé quién fue que dijo que, ten, porque tenía el niño enfermo. Ahorita, ahorita lo reviso, fue Raquel Judith Vázquez. Ajá, le tocaría a ella. Let me see, Raquel. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Christina, to help me yesterday. Okay. No. Okay, so Mariel, please, cause of the time, cause of the time, I need at least two more. Por lo menos necesito dos más que me expliquen. So timetable. Somebody else, please tell me. And hurry up because the time is close to finish. Give me your ideas. Okay, I'm going to apply the same uh, game. Rafael, give me a number from, from 1 to 15, please. Repeat, please, teacher. Can you give me a number from 1 to 15, please? The number five. Number five? Yeah. I'm going to start back and forth. Um, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Fatima Portillo, you are the one. What can you tell us? Fatima, are you there? Yes. I will not throw my timetable because I have. But I am connecting in the cell. I just want to mention the activities. But if you have in your in your notebook, you can show us. Oh, 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 okay, do it that way. No problem. Okay, as you say that we have to make an schedule of around four persons, right? I emphasize in for department, for example, for cleaning department. Um, there are four people uh, in the morning shift. 
and there are two persons, Roxana and Lillian, that work from A to that made the the the, the cleaning from 10 a.m. to 11 okay. a.m. Okay. And Carlos and Roberto is in charge of cleaning the office from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Another department, uh, for example, purchasing. Mm, there are two, two people. Okay. That uh, is purchasing. And they are Helen and Wilbur. They made the the they they place the purchase purchasing order from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Every every Monday. And we have also the import department that is in that is in charge. Uh, for tracking the material, there are two two people. Uh, they are Evelyn and George. Okay. Evelyn uh, track the material from a a.m. to ten a.m. and George made a report of of tracking material from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And we also have the department of the accounting. Mm, there are two persons, Roberto and Misael. Roberto process the payment every Friday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay. And Israel process payment every Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. And in order to finish, I need a volunteer who wants to read this tongue twister for me in a hurry way. Who wants to do it? A volunteer, please. I will try to. Okay, do it. Very about, very about a bit. Of, of butter, but the butter very bought was bitter. So very bought better butter. And it was better than the butter very bought before. Okay, thank you very much. I hope that you can continue practicing tongue twister. Okay, hold on a second. Just let me check out the attendance now. Ana Cristina? Present teacher. An Ana del Carmen? Present teacher. Angel? Present teacher. Cristina? Fatima? Present. Giovanni Alexander? Present teacher. Harrison? Present. Juan Carlos? Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Linda. Teacher. Hello. Teacher. No, no dije present. <laughs> okay. Uh, Linda. Present, teacher. Maria. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene. 
Present. Nancy? Nancy Iber. It's not present, okay. Norma? Present teacher. Rafael? Present teacher. Raquel Judith? Present teacher. Suleima Veronica? Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be here with you. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night teacher. teacher. Good night, Don't forget to resolve the problem that you have in the platform, please. Okay, teacher. Remember that uh, the midterm is it is there also. También está el midterm. Okay. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Sweet dreams. Okay, welcome back, Raquel. I hope that you can understand what I'm going to tell you. And I don't know if you have any question, some specific question about a specific topic. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta en específico de algún tema que ya hayamos visto o algún comentario relacionado a, al curso. Eh, no entiendo lo el when oh, when to use eh, simple present for schedule activity. Eso no, no lo entiendo. Me cuesta mucho. Ah, ah okay. Okay, excelente. Let me show you something here. Second, I need to put material in order that you can uh, Okay, when we talk about uh, schedule activities, Cuando hablamos de actividades programadas, estamos hablando, por ejemplo, si usted tiene eh, un niño que lo manda a la escuela, usted ya tiene una hora que lo manda para la, valga la redundancia, para la escuela, ¿cierto? Entonces, si el niño se llama Mario, usted dice, ok, Mario leaves the house uh, a quarter before seven. A eso es que se le llaman actividades como ya programadas. Que Mario sale de la casa 15 a las 7 porque la escuela está cerca. Entonces, ya él ya está programado que 15 a las 7 tiene que salir de la casa. Y hacemos uso de el, del presente simple. En el caso, por ejemplo, de, de las compañías o los trabajos, uh, usted dice, I arrive to my job at 8 o'clock. Eso es una actividad programada. Usted dice, yo llego a mi trabajo a las 8 en punto. Bad María always arrive late. Pero María siempre llega tarde. Aunque ella tenga una programación, ella siempre llega tarde. Entonces, cuando vamos a usar eh, los verbos con terceras personas, ellos en, eh, sufren cambios y esos cambios pueden ser que se les agrega S o ES. Que ya este, ha visto algunas reglas relacionadas a esas. 
La mayoría agregan S, los que agregan ES son, por ejemplo, los que terminan en, en CH, SH, eh, X o incluso. Entonces a eso es que le llamamos eh, actividades como ya programadas, pero haciendo uso del presente simple. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, usted dice, si tiene otro niño eh, cuyo nombre sea, digamos, Antonio, entonces usted dice, Antonio, ¿qué sap? ¿Qué sap? At uh, six o'clock. Antonio se levanta a las seis en punto. Entonces ya tiene como, un, como una programación a la hora que él. Pero como estoy usando tercera persona, entonces por eso es que yo no digo get up, sino que que está. ¿Vean? No sé si me va comprendiendo. Sí, piche. Ok. Hágame un ejemplo. Eh, my son gets at eh, seven a.m. At seven a.m. Okay. Seven. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Ahí, ahí lo que debe hacer es recordarse que keep in mind that uh, at the moment that you are using the simple present. And you are using with he, she, and it. You are going to add s or es. All depend. Que cuando lo cuando use un verbo con terceras personas, ya sea él, ella o el elemento neutro, eh, el verbo va a llevar cambios. Que puede ser una s o es. Eso es lo que debe tener en mente. Sí. Thank you, teacher. Sí. Okay. Another question? What does it? No, solamente. Ah, okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.